हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली गुड सो लेट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम सॉर्टिंग थ्री ग्रुप्स फ्रॉम द लीड कोड कॉन्टेस्ट सो फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो हियर यू यू है गिवेन ए जीरो इंडेक्सड अरे नम्स ऑफ लेंथ एन एंड द नंबर्स आर फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन माइनस वन आर डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री ग्रुप्स सो यू विल गिव फ्रॉम नंबर जीरो टू एन माइनस वन and you will give the group id whether it is group 1 or group 2 or group 3 and it is stating that where number i belongs to group nums of i suppose uh, in this example if you see 2 1 3 2 1 now if you write 0 1 2 3 4 now if you see in the first group uh, which elements are present 1 and 4 in the second group 0 and 3 in the third group we have 2 it's saying that i belongs to group n notice that some groups may be empty ha huh? it can be empty you are allowed to perform this operations any number of times pick number x and change its group uh, it's like if we pick 0 and if you want to change the group to 1 now it is in second group if you want to change it to 1 we can change it and this operation cost you 1 cost is 1 and say the new array result is constructed using the following procedure sort the number in each group independently and we from all this we need to make this operations and from all this operations what we should do we should sort every group we should sort every group and append the elements of group 1 2 3 to the result in this order and we append 1 2 3 1st group 2nd group and 3rd group and the array nums is called beautiful if the constructed resulted is non decreasing it is non decreasing means it is increasing if it is in increasing order then we can say that the array is beautiful and we need to return the minimum number of operations to make the nums a beautiful beautiful array and we need to perform minimum number of operations suppose if you append this uh, suppose if you take a uh, this example we have constructed it if you append what we will get 1 4 ha huh? 0 3 and 2 it is sorted not right and we need to change it in such a way that the resulting array should be in sorted order so if we observe it carefully if you see this example uh you can see that we have 1 3 2 1 3 2 1 and uh, if you observe it 1 and 3 are directly increasing and 2 and 3 is increasing and 1 and 2 is increasing and remaining all are less so you can say that okay mostly we have two elements which are increasing which are uh, we can take uh, in any order now let's see another example if you take this example uh, if you take this we have 1 3 2 1 3 3 and 0 1 2 3 4 5 element is present in this group if you see it uh, what we are getting from the first in the first group we are getting Zero and three. In the second group, we are getting two. In the third group, we are getting one, four, and five. Uh, what we should do? One should come here, right? Huh? Uh, if you want to sort, if you want to sort, one should come here. And next thing, three should be there only. Two should also move there. Two should also should come. Or else, uh, we can change like this. Or, or. now 1 4 5 we have constructed like this and i will bring 0 to this uh, 0 to third group and 2 to the third group and 3 to the third group in this way also we can shift the groups or we can make the groups constant like uh, now if you see it 1 4 5 is increasing 1 4 5 and if you see this 
if you observe it now what it is saying zero zero is in the correct order and four five are in correct order i will make one here i will move one here and i will move two here i will move two here then here number of operations are two so if you see it we can say that it is longest it is an longest increasing subsequence if we see anything which is longest increasing subsequence then we can say that that uh, that array will be the sorted remaining all are not sorted like if you get 3 4 5 1 3 2 if you get like this 3 4 5 is sorted 1 3 2 is not sorted in this way if you find the longest increasing subsequence we can take that and the remaining all elements we can rearrange them we can rearrange them. i will explain you with the code this is directly straightforward i will start from i is equals to 1 i less than n i plus plus i will store dp of every element as 1 because because if you see for every element its size is 1 we are in dp we are storing the size if v of i is greater than v of j uh, suppose we are getting 1 3 5 this 5 is greater than 3 then what we are doing with dp of i is equals to max of dp of i comma 1 plus dp of j till here what is the my maximum plus 1 or this maximum uh, i will say like if you get 1 3 1 5 it 5 are it this the maximum number of elements are 1 it 3 the number of elements 2 it 1 it will be only 1 because these are all are short but we can say it is 2 no problem 1 1 yeah, because non decreasing you know we are 5 at 3 at 1 if you consider 1 you will get answer as 3 if you consider 3 you will get the answer as 3 in this way we should go left and we need to check whether it is maximum or not and uh, we are after getting the maximum we should subtract the remaining elements then you will get the answer and the time complexity would be order of n square and thank you for watching the video